So recently I was asked, how can I get values for the last date in my data set? So here I have some sales and you can see I have a lot of sales. I have two years of sales and I want to get the value for the last day in the data set. And initially I said, oh, I'll do DAX because that tends to be kind of a go-to when you're thinking of how do I get data and so forth. But you can't do a filter on DAX measures anyhow. You could do a filter on DAX columns. So what do you do? And I was overthinking it by putting DAX in anyhow. So it, just use the filters that are there, nice and simple. So here I have a table with all of my uh, transactions summarized by date, and I have the sales amount and the number of transactions, and here I have the individual cities for the sales displayed by date again. Now in the table on the left, I have them sorted descending by date so I could see what the biggest date is. And this date's actually in the future. So I don't wanna actually go back and say in the last whatever for my transactions. But I want this particular query right here, or this particular visual, I wanna show the last transaction. So again, if I come in and say relative date, I either have to go in the past or I have to go into the future. And so I don't wanna do that. So here's how I'm going to fix this. First of all, I it, just have a card visual right here. I'm gonna take the date and drag it into the card visual and you'll see it shows the earliest date. So one of the options I could do is display what the latest date is. So I just clicked on this drop down list and now I could see the latest date. And if I wanted to, I could rename it for this visual. So I could, whoops, click on that again, rename for this visual and I could say last date with data. Okay, so, um, or maybe sales. So this is how I could display what the last date is, but still how do I filter? Again, we're gonna use the filter option. So I'm gonna select this matrix, and you'll notice this one's recorded in ascending. And instead of using the relative date, I'm gonna come in and change it to top in. So I could show the top or the bottom, so I could see the last or the first. And I'm gonna say get the top one date. So get the last date, basically. And now it's asking me by what value. Well, I wanna get it from the date value. So I'm just gonna drag that out there. And I don't want the earliest date, I want the last date. So if I tell it to get the latest dates, I'm getting the last one date and I'm gonna click on apply. And now I could see I am indeed getting just that date. If I wanna see the last week, last full week, I can make it top seven and apply. And then these are the last seven days with data. It's just that simple. No DAX needed, no special M code needed. Just use the filters that are out there. Hope this helps.